gardening at Duensa here in Wexford, Ireland. And it's been a really busy few days for me because I've been sorting the greenhouse out for summer. Now I hate all this sorting out, taking all the small potted plants out and uh, putting them on the grass while I clean and, and wash the glass and take down the bubble wrap. But it has to be done and it's done now and then comes the great bit, enjoying the plants and seeing how nicely they're set up for summer. So come on with me inside the greenhouse and I'll show you what I've done. Okay, in we go. Okay, so you'll notice first of all how um, spacious big plants are gone and now we actually have some, some room space. But the main bit that I want to show you is the display area, area over here. And these are my pelagoniums and I'm setting them up for the summer. And the idea with these is to have something gorgeous to look at during the summer, to have a reason to come into the greenhouse and have a cup of tea first thing in the morning and just look at all these fantastic flowers. Now I'm really really pleased with the pelagoniums this year and that's because I didn't get round to repotting many of them and also I haven't been feeding as assiduously as I should yet still look what they've given me in return. It's just magnificent. Um, you'll notice some of them that I've uh, featured before over here where I'm showing you and um, that's Quantock Millennium, the one with the beautiful scented leaves that I featured in that Quantock video. I absolutely adore this beautiful um, blousy one here. can't remember the name off the top of my head but I'll, I'll put it up. And... Um, Gosh, I don't know what to say. It's mostly pelagoniums, isn't it? Look at this gorgeous Santa Desi I managed, managed to get. Now, when I bought that in the supermarket, I made very carefully, I took a very careful look at the leaves. And look at this. It's got some leaves in there like a caladium. So that was definitely the one for me. And then lots more things. And let's just come a bit further down this way. <laughs> And I uh, have a, a, a little look longer. Uh, this is a Lord Boot, um, which is a classic, really, really nice one. And then just two more I want to show you. Um, down here, this is a variegated ones. One I love the variegated ones, but not when they have like very wishy-washy insipid colours. I find that can actually make me want to vomit. But um, this one with the dark colours, that's gorgeous. This is called Fir Tree Mark, and I think it's gorgeous. The shape of the flowers and that, it's wonderful. Um, Quantock um, Double Diamond, we featured earlier. It's looking a bit sad now, but that's because I had it indoors. Once the sun hits it out here, it's going to really, really perk up. Um, my Hatiora is looking very sad. Not sure what the heck is wrong with that. It's a bit of a worry. And then I want to show you, oh, here's Rimfire, which I got at uh, the Bloom Show. Do you remember I uh, mentioned it in that video I did? But what I really want to show you is my new best friend, my new favourite pelagonium. And this one is called Cream and Green, I think. I'll put the name up. But, oh my God, that is just fantastic. Just absolutely wonderful. And the leaves, look at the go gorgeous variegation on the leaves. Just wonderful. So that's my new best friend. Callan Cho came through the winter and that's just brilliant. So here I am having a nice cup of tea. It's just bliss, so it is. And hey, did you check out my nice pot? See the front of it? It's one of the Mario carnivorous plants that my boys um, did on the pot a little while ago. Very nice. And behind me is my South African corner, which I'll just show you now. Um, let's just move the chair in here. As you can see, the protea is, um, well, any day now, any day. <laughs> and over here, I have, I suppose, my South African corner. Um, but I do have other South African plants in the greenhouse, but these are mostly proteas that I grew from seed myself. Now, I bought the seed from a wonderful website, um, 
fine bush people I think they're called I'll put the info um, at the top of the screen and they so sold me also the little smoke discs that you need to germinate South African protea and I used them and that was um, well a year and a half ago and already I have so many um, delicious gorgeous proteas, lots of different types and it was the only way I could think of to get the collection that I wanted and that's a Banksia, it'll get much bigger but this is the front section of the greenhouse and what you've probably noticed is this bubble wrap blowing around in the wind here so we're going to go behind there now and have a look and see this is the orchid section, the section that's set up for the orchid Now the orchids aren't in here yet and the reason for that is that it's not yet warm enough at night. Just last night we had 6.8 something like that at night which is far too low to have for orchids in a greenhouse. So I'm just waiting for that to get up to 10 and then out they go. But this section is encased with the bubble wrap to just reduce the light levels. Um, and um, when the orchids come out They'll go here on the table in these trays which I'll, fit, which I'll fill with clay pe pebbles and these will be the humidity trays there, there and there. I may need to get another one. And um, oh yes, did you check out my Deesas? Going to flower soon. They're very happy to be out here at the moment. And there's some bidiums obviously. And I have a Dendrobium nobile out here. So this is the orchid section, which will be inhabited soon with lots of orchids, and I have a few cuttings in here. So that's my greenhouse in summer. I try and make it as much of a show house as I possibly can, and um, I think it's looking good so far. And of course, the main function it has in summer is to house the Cattleya orchids. Thanks very much for watching, and if you want to know anything more about any particular type of plants then do write down below in the comments if not please do subscribe and like and all that kind of thing thanks very much for watching bye now